Hey guys, Kid Guru here, and today I have a requested tutorial for a uh, um, the user by the name of Direct uh, Direct Talk, I should say, or if you you knew him as Direct Effect. He's a really cool guy, and uh, you know I also was planning on doing some Sony Vegas tutorials anyway. And uh, this might have to split into a couple parts depending on how long I go. I might squeeze it all in in ten minutes. Who knows? Anyways, this is gonna be a long one, so uh, if you're watching this because you have Sony Vegas Pro, then uh, you know you might want to check it out. I'm just going to go over the basics of what Sony Vegas Pro and what you can do and how to do stuff. Just the basics, not more advanced stuff, but basics. So first off, uh, here you're, uh, you have your tabs. Now your, your tabs may look, you may have more. That's because I switched mine off and you might want to do the same. Go to view and switch off some of these. Uh, I switched off the trimmer because, uh, let's see, I'm going to grab a video in here. My video is quick cam. I'll just grab a random, my blue screen I was testing out here. Not blue screen, but Anyways, if you hover over like this, just by holding into the track and then going over and hit delete, you snip out that much. Or you can even, so if you hover over just by clicking and holding, click and drag in the track, you'll snip that much off. So whatever's in the blue lines. And another thing is, uh, let me just redrag that back in. If you go, let's say I put my, uh, I guess you can say the, you can control one of two ways here. You can go like this, you know, faster through the frames. Or you can, of course, use the arrow keys to go frame by frame by frame. You can hold that to go faster. And, or you can just drag the uh, the marker, which I'll, I'll, I'll be referring to that as the marker right here in your video in your, uh, in your video track. Now, let's say I want snip, uh, s split the clip right here for, you know, if I want to add a transition or if I want to add a, a picture, then I'll hit S, and that will split the clip exactly where it is. It'll split that exact frame right in half, and you can insert whatever, and you can just drag it apart. That's why you really have no need for the trimmer. It just takes too long. So you can take that off under your view and take off trimmer. Another thing you can take off is, uh, if you don't use it much, I don't really use it at all, is the, where is it, the media manager. You don't really need it unless you want to organize all your media, but mm, most likely it's not needed. Uh, okay, well, moving on. Now, if you do get that layout that you like, let's say, you know, you don't, Another thing you don't really need is this audio thing, unless you really want to see your audio levels, but most likely you won't really need it. So with that, uh, you can take this and just take the arrows and just push it in, or you can even exit out. It's up to you. It just opens up more space. Uh, and let's say you get your layout exactly how you like it, but when you close Vegas and you open it, you know, the layout's back to the default layout. Well, that's where the saving the layout is going to come in handy. Go into your... Op uh, it should be in under go under uh, I believe it's view go to Windows layouts now go to save layout as and then save it to whatever and my one is my custom vid layout so save layout as and you can even save different layouts let's say you have you know different layouts for specific projects make sure maybe you have a audio layout for you know an audio project and you want to pull that out and you know you never know and another uh, really really uh, great thing about Vegas, if you have dual monitors, maybe on your laptop or your desktop, you can preview on your preview window on an external monitor. So you're pretty much going to get this preview window on a whole other monitor. And that's going to give you a lot of space open up right here. It's going to give you the option to, you know, the opportunity to look at the track and, you know, focus on the video on another monitor. So if you're one, if you're looking into doing that, you can use the key alt shift four or just click that to preview that on another monitor. So that's another basic. So the view and the feel of Vegas is, you know, basically what's going to uh, walk you through editing. Because you want to have a comfortable editor. You want to be able to walk yourself through it and, you know, know where everything is. Now, I know some of you are starting out like I am. So you're going to want to go through all this stuff right here. And, you know, the main tabs you're going to want is your project media, your explorer, your explorer, your project media, your transitions, your video effects, and your media generators. Now, when you're m creating a intro or a title or whatever it's not as easy as Windows Movie Maker when you want to drag and just put something in so what you're going to want to do is head over to your media generators tab and you're going to have uh, multiple things to choose from and uh, I would recommend going into where is it I believe it's you can use solid colors will be used a lot in uh, during in Vegas so oh, hang on I think I just opened up something on accident here so you get the white okay here you go Solid colors will be used a lot for effects, so keep that in mind. Uh, you have text right there, and what's, something's doing buggy with Vegas right now. Hang on one second, guys. I just have to wait for that. I don't know why it does that. And it's not responding. Uh-oh. Let's see here, guys. Hang on. 
Let me pause this real quick to see what happens. Or maybe not. Okay, there you go. Okay, sorry about that. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Let's make sure this works now. Okay, noise textures, which you want to get hit into. Noise texture, sorry for that little inconvenience there. Anyways, noise texture uh, is what you're going to be using for mainly titles. Now, I'll be getting into this for an intro video later on, but if you're creating intros and stuff like that, look into these stuff. Let's say I like the lava one. Just drag that into your video track, and I'll open up the parameters and stuff like that for it. You know, the generators, stuff you can mess around with. Something you want to look into specifically is the progress in degrees, and that's going to be if you, you know, let me just drag this over here real quick. If you notice when I drag this, uh, that will be moving also. So I'm just going to do this with my uh, scroll wheel here. I'll just go with my air, my arrow keys. Now when you move that, that's going to be moving your, to make it look like lifelike. And you know, in future tutorials, I'll be going full screen so you can see everything working. I'm just basically moving this slowly, and as I move it, it goes like that. But let's say I want to have that as a clip plays on. Well, what you're going to want to do is use keyframing. Keyframing is a little bit uh, something you're going to have to um, manage in every video editor. And how you get the keyframing in Vegas out is, let's say you don't have the keyframing right here. It's maybe because you don't have it open. So head over right here to the bottom, right where that line is, where you get a double arrow. Pull this up until you can see the full keyframe thing guys so pull it up and I just have want that right there so make sure you have that pulled up in your media generators tab whenever you drag something out because if you don't have your keyframing you won't be able to mess around with the uh, stuff so let's say for example it's at 1.550 degrees in the beginning let's say I drag it into like you know uh, five seconds right and then I just make it jump all the way over there and in the middle I would make it jump like right here let's say right here and what these marks are these are keyframe marks for example this was a different degree at this mark and at that at that time in the clip it'll change to a different degree so when I play the video it will so let me just when I play the video it will move as you see there moves at the certain degrees that I made it will go at the keyframe and then it stops because after five seconds I didn't make any changes in degrees so that's something very, very uh, useful you're going to want to learn. And uh, that's within intros and when you're creating intros and stuff like that. Now, another really uh, good thing about New Vegas Pro is you can insert multiple video tracks, a lot a lot of video tracks. So you can either use Control-Shift-Q you can for a video track, and that uh, the red is the audio track, stuff like that. You can tell the difference. Now, for adding text, you're going to go over here and... Vegas has a lot of great text effects, stuff like that. So let's say I like this one right here, and I'm going to just drag this up right here. I'm going to wait for it. I'm going to say uh, Vegas text, and I'm just minimize the size there to 18 and close that. Now, when I go over this, Vegas text, that's all it says. It doesn't show this right here. That's because you want this masking the top. You want this overlaid. So let's say I'm going to put this right here. Hang on a second here. So I just, oh wait, hang on. What happened to my text there? Vegas text. I think I accidentally deleted it there. Sorry about that. So I have my text right here. And, okay, there it is. Sorry. What happened there? So you have your, your text in the thing. You want, let's say you want this to overlay with that. Well, the thing about Vegas is the certain fonts it has. For example, look, this is transparent text. This is soft shadow. And you notice the background of its checkered board. That's because it has a transparent background. It can put anything there. For example, this right here, no matter, e even if I drag it over, it won't overlay. Be reason being because it has its own solid background. So I'm going to just delete this. And you're going to want something like this if you don't want a solid background. So I'm just going to use a heavy outline and put Vegas again Vegas text but this time it has a uh, empty background so whatever I overlay it with which would be this lava would be showing up right here so Vegas text so and the cool thing is it would move with the keyframing so it looks really cool and you can do it with a whole bunch of different effects and like I said there's video effects you can mess around with from chroma keys to pinch and punch to waves to you know a lot of crazy stuff guys so Look into text and media generators as well as text patterns on all that stuff, and make sure if it's not overlaying, make sure it doesn't have a solid background. Make sure it has a, a like this is a solid background. Make sure it has like a checkerboard type uh, background so you know it can overlay above that. 
Now, uh, transitions would be used straightforward. You just drag them between clips. Uh, it's, you know, pretty simple. Um, project media, video f media generators. I've already gone through this stuff. But yeah, guys, so you have a whole bunch of options to go through. And keyframing is just the start of it, guys. Keyframing will walk you through everything. So uh, another two important buttons I would be looking for is generated media and that's just going to bring up the settings of whatever the type of media is and event pan crop event pan crop is your masking your keyframing everything all set up into here and i'll be getting that into part two of the basics in sony vegas so with that let me cut it and go to part two